Kuje makes the stop there. T-Sync reverses it behind his own net. Final three seconds of the power play. Aiden Kelly overstated it at his own blue line, but T-Sync will head back the other way. Another penalty coming to Drummondville as T-Sync squeezes his way through. Now he got a scrap started. Amon and McCauley. Oh, a hard right hand from Amon. McCauley tying up with Amon now. McCauley trying to come over the top. Gets a couple of left jabs in while holding that jersey. Now he's got the right arm free. Amon does too. He throws a hard one that misses. McCauley comes over the top, knocks the bonnet off of Amon. Now McCauley trying to get that elbow pad off. Amon comes in with a hard right. They continue to tie up, and that's going to do it for that. McCauley didn't like the hit from Amon that knocked down Aiden Kelly, and I think that's what really spurred that one, Westy. Yeah, that was a good, that was a solid draw, I think. Uh, both players landed a few good shots. So uh, that was good, took care of business. We got a mess to clean up, and while we do, we'll take a break. Just 36.7 seconds to go on the first. No score, you're listening to Centennial Buick GMC Seed on Hockey on News 88.9. After you.